Yeah, so in the UK, you're not allowed to do that before 8 a.m. Mina san, konnichiwa, squishy toke, yokoso. Okay, today <laughs> I have a weird one for you, which weirder is always better in my opinion. So we have seven weird British laws. Now, most of these are basically laws that made sense at the time, but then they just didn't get rid of them. So now they're just, why does this exist? I don't know. You can be the judge. Do you think these are weird or not? Let's get into it. Okay, so the first law sounds crazy, but I think it makes a lot of sense. Uh, that is, it is illegal to be drunk in a pub. Yeah, this law is from the Metropolitan Act of 1839. And just a heads up, most of these weird laws are gonna be from the Metropolitan Act 1839, yeah. Okay, so the reason why I actually don't think this law is too crazy is because it actually makes a lot of sense. If you get drunk in a pub, then the pub kind of has to take responsibility for you. So by having a law meaning you you can't get drunk in a pub, if you do get drunk and you start to cause problems, the police then can legally get involved and arrest you and it kind of just makes a safer environment for everyone. Of course people get drunk in a pub, like that's most people do, but it's there in case you get drunk and then maybe start to cause problems for other people, then at least the police are able to do something. Does that make sense? It's kind of there to protect everyone. But yeah, at first, definitely sounds crazy. <laughs> Why wouldn't you be able to get drunk in a pub? But yeah, so that's the first one. Don't worry, these get weirder, I promise. Which brings us to the second one. You cannot suspiciously handle salmon. Yeah, and that is from the Salmon Act of 1986. Okay, so this law, again, it's just written in a way that's really confusing and strange. If you actually look into it, what it means is you can't illegally catch salmon or have salmon in your possession under suspicious circumstances. So you have to have a permit to catch or sell salmon. That's basically what they're saying. So if you don't have a permit or special permission to catch or sell salmon, then it's illegal. So that actually makes a lot of sense. But the reason why this is considered one of the weirder laws is because just the way it's written, like suspiciously handled salmon. Yeah, I don't know why they chose that wording. But anyway, let's go to the next one. Uh, it is an act of treason to put a British stamp upside down. So for those of you who aren't familiar with what the stamps in the UK look like, they mostly just have the Queen's face on them. I mean, we do have some others that are bit different but most of the stamps will just have the queen's face on them uh so yeah if you put it on an envelope upside down it's considered an act of treason will you get arrested no absolutely not probably nothing is going to happen to you um but yeah that is due to the treason felony act of 1848 and for those of you who don't know what treason is it's any crime committed against the country so yeah another weird law this next one makes me laugh. <laughs> so this next law is, it's illegal to jump the queue at a tube station. Yeah. So, all right. Originally, I thought that meant to get on the tube train, but it doesn't mean that, because, I mean, everybody does that. But it's actually in the ticket hall area. So if you're lining up to get a ticket, which most people don't these days, because we have an Oyster card. Um, but yeah, you're not allowed to jump the queue, even though people do that. Uh, and yeah, this is just one of the Transport for London laws like everybody should follow, but nobody does. Let's go to the next one. All right, so the next one is, I love this one. Don't shake your rug out of the window before 8 p.m. 8 p.m., sorry, before 8 a.m. And that is also uh, part of the Metropolitan Act of 1839. Okay, so... I feel like this isn't really a common problem in the UK anymore. I feel like I don't remember the last time I heard somebody getting their rug or blanket and shaking it outside. I've noticed that we do it a lot in Japan, right? Yeah. We like hit the rug and stuff. Yeah, from the morning. Yeah, in the morning. Yeah, yeah. So in the UK, you're not allowed to do that before 8 a.m. But there is a loophole. <laughs> this is the part that I find weird. If you have a doormat, you're allowed to shake that out before 8am. Why? 
why, what, what is the difference other than size between a doormat and a rug? Yeah, doesn't make sense, but yeah, that's, that's a law. Uh, again, you're probably not gonna get arrested for it. The police are doing more important things, but it's, yeah, it's a law. Okay, uh, this one, this one is just so confusing to me, this next one, because I see it really frequently in London. You're not allowed to carry planks of wood down the street. Again, Metropolitan Act of 1839. I don't understand. I guess, like, maybe from a safety perspective, like, you could walk into a pedestrian whilst you're carrying planks of wood but what if you're a builder like what if you're building a house and you need to carry planks of wood huh yeah I don't understand this one this one gets broken all the time because to be honest it has to if you're building like a house or something you need to carry planks of wood across the street you just have to uh, anyway this final law is probably one of the weirdest I've definitely saved the best for last when a whale or sturgeon becomes beached, it must be offered to the queen. Just think about that for a minute. Imagine you're walking along the beach. There's a beached whale. Do you help it? Do you call somebody? No, you offer it to the queen. Okay, this is definitely a law that d should not exist anymore because the queen probably would not accept a dead fish from you. Yeah, um, they need to get rid of this one, definitely. It's not serving any purpose to anyone. Um, okay, so that's it for our seven weird British laws. Taro, what did you think the weirdest one was? Um, I reckon, but I don't know, uh, to be honest, everything, right? Yeah. Um, I reckon like uh, most of British people, even most of British people don't recognize most of them. Yeah. Right, so I don't understand why, you know, they are existent, existent still. I think it's just a case of, at the time these laws were written, they made sense, right? Okay. And then as time has gone on, they don't make sense anymore, but no one's bothered to just remove them. So it's getting less effective. Well, yeah, no, we never, I mean, imagine actually... But it's still existent, right? Yeah, it's still existent. So it's complicated because the police won't arrest you for any of these things. Okay. But it doesn't mean it's not illegal. Right. It's kind of complicated, right? It's a very, like, grey zone, right? Yeah, I mean, like I said, I think the one that makes the most sense to me is it's illegal to be drunk in a pub, because I think that's just a safety thing. So it's up to the bartender whether they actually contact the police or not. But at least if you're being aggressive, but you're not actually doing anything violent, they can still arrest you for something, which is being drunk in a pub. Usually they arrest you for being drunk and disorderly. All right, well, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.